I think it's important that we do focus on both the challenges and the opportunities because I do think in difficult market environments, it's very common for investors to just focus on the risks and to forget about the opportunities being created in the market. Uh, but first, let's tackle the challenges. And there are really two that I, I would focus on. One would be managing the risks from the different sources of income. And as we came into this year, uh, many investors were really focused on equity risk and to some extent credit risk, but really interest rate risk, which is very prominent as well, uh, was really being de-emphasized. And I think there are a number of reasons for that. We certainly were in an artificially low interest rate environment. Some uh, would argue that we've been in that kind of environment now for a better part of the last decade. And as we saw uh, the landscape changing and the Federal Reserve needing to not just normalize interest rates away from the very specific policies implemented to deal with the pandemic, they're also now addressing a very difficult inflation environment, one that many investors have never witnessed before. Uh, so that certainly would be one of the bigger challenges. Uh, the second one I would point to would be uh, the fact that we have now a broad sell-off in many different assets risk assets like equities and corporate debt securities, as well as the traditional safe haven being risk-free or U.S. Treasuries where we've seen yields increase. So that really, I think, uh, emphasizes the need to diversify your sources of income and manage the different types of risks uh, that come with investing for income. Now, on the positive side, certainly the opportunities that are created uh, first, I would certainly highlight higher quality fixed income securities, particularly those with longer duration or more exposure to interest rate increases. And that's where we've seen just very historic sell-offs in terms of bond prices coming down very substantially and the yields now that investors can buy into uh, significantly higher than they were just six to nine months ago. Uh, so that's been a real opportunity. Similarly, with the decline in equities, and credit, being able to selectively position and really have a broad opportunity set, we think gives investors looking for income a lot of opportunities today.